my people although naomi has really really endured a lot of things in the palace yes naomi has endured so so much and if you don't want to say the truth naomi has tried yes although naomi has tried she has gone out of her way she has gone out of the box this woman has literally done every single thing to make sure that she remains that one person whom does not have an issue in that palace and believe me it is far from having an issue yes it is far from having an issue because every single thing Olomi Naomi does it only speaks of a personality that cannot be bought or a person or a personality that does not comes with pretense so in the midst of chaos in the midst of all of these mass bows in the midst of every single thing Naomi is saying let there be peace let there be peace let there be peace and everybody is thrown off balance because the last time we checked the person who went to Akure to hold her hostage did not think of let there be peace but Naomi who was held hostage is shouting to the whole nation that let there be peace let nobody be dragged for her matter <sighs> Naomi has really really tried and let's let's learn to call a sped a sped what Miriam did is wrong that is just the truth what Miriam did is very very wrong and if you would want to judge right you would say that Miriam deserves a big punishment for that but now that Olivia Naomi has come out to say that uh, let there be peace let nobody be persecuted because of her let nobody be dragged around everybody should remain calm Miriam did not harm her my people it is beginning to be quite alarming because even if we say miriam threatened naomi that that eh, if you do any single thing i will I, I, I will deal with you but naomi is not a child naomi knows exactly how she can protect herself when she will tell the internet or she will tell her husband that this is what happened you know that this matter got pastor jerry easy talking pastor jerry easy was like you can't hold someone hostage in a church. Destruct the person's service that you want to have a conversation. It is more like there is a church service going on. That was what Miriam did. A church service going on. Then, then you, you pulled up with grown men. First, you have instigated uh, um, fear in the congregation. First, you have instigated fear in that congregation and then secondly you ended the service you held everybody in the church that you want to talk to the priest the person who was conducting the service and that was a Oluwi Naomi this thing happened just some days ago and right now Oluwi Naomi is saying let there be peace everybody wants to go after Miriam for committing such an atrocity but Oluwi Naomi is saying no nobody should go after Miriam every single thing should be exactly the way it is nobody should even think of going after her and now the big question is so how long will these women keep on doing the things they do and then Naomi will say yeah, no problem they should just leave it nobody should fight another person because of me if it is me leave it it doesn't make sense this woman did something that if they call the police on her the police have enough evidence because Naomi had a church which was pastoring at the moment they came in and they destructed the service Yes, they destructed the whole service, sent some persons out, some persons who said they were going to stay with their pastor, remained inside, and the whole thing went on. And then they are saying that, no, 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 no. My people, at the end of the day, there is absolutely nothing, nothing you would say that this Naomi's decision is right. But well, this is who Naomi is. Naomi has come to a point of becoming one singular person whom no matter what happens, the only would not want to lose because the woman have proven to be who she is. Will Naomi pretend all her life? No, even if it is pretense, it's for done over her. You should have heard that point when Naomi slapped someone, Naomi shouted, Naomi did this, Naomi did that. But no, because she's not living a life of pretense. This man is not living a life of pretense. This is who she is. And there is absolutely nothing anybody can do about it.
Yes, this is who Oluwi Naomi is. And if Naomi keeps telling the world that this is who she is, and then all his wives will keep on making it seem like, eh, Naomi is just one liar. <laughs> yes, that's what they keep on making it look like. But now, this is Naomi. Even if Naomi said that now uh, this person should be arrested for holding her at gunpoint, Miriam's whole life would have turned history because this is more like a kidnap. You have someone hostage. Forget the fact that there was no ransom requested, but there is evidence. Naomi was not harmed, but if Naomi raised a case, it would definitely go against her. And then to worsen it, the only two has been someone who have not given anybody the room. If this woman have an issue with someone, but the person gets scared, you get scared because oh, you're dealing with the wives of the owner of the fair. And no matter how bad you think this thing gets, no matter how bad you think it gets, the only still protects his wives. Or all of those bad boys, these women did that they were stealing some time back. Uh, uh, it was more than enough for them to go down now. It was more than enough for them to go down. But why didn't they go down? Because the only was there. The only was a covering over their lives. The only was a shield over their lives. And there was nothing you could tell them that you could tell him that he would remove that covering he had over his wives that anybody should harm them. So now these women don't know something. Instead of them to keep on fighting, they should just stop fighting and obey. I think that will go a long way. You see, the only is a very soft man. If these women come to that point of obeying him, yes, if they come to that point of obeying, I think it will go a long way. Yes, it will go a very, very long way for them. Yes, because as it is right now, nobody even knows what is happening. Nobody knows what is happening. And at the end of the day, all of these things going on in the palace on and over and over again, they might see it as fun, but it is not fun. Only stepmother once said, these things are tarnishing the whole palace. And whosoever takes over from the only someday, she would pity the person because the person already has a bad record before the only ends its reign. That is what is happening there. So uh, we just hope they know that what they are doing is, is, is giving a bad repetition to the palace as well. People like Toby, Miriam don't care. They just want to do their thing. No matter how bad it gets with the palace, no problem. They are just there doing their stuff. And it doesn't concern them how this whole thing plays out.